Oh well. That's alright. We don't need bets. Bets are optional. Gambling is bad, guys. And we're going to be starting in just two seconds. And there we go. We are going to be off. Let's see how this goes. Let's see what are the strategies looking like. Both going to be nine man. Both going to be nine manning a sloth. Okay. A double nine man for double success. Okay, so this means they're probably going to be really not using a lot of people on trio and then using plenty of people on Matthias. Pretty standard here. Uh, you, you obviously want a lot of people on, on Matthias and you don't want to overcommit to too many people on trio. You want to use just enough that you can do it without dying. Uh, because if you wipe, then that's really bad. But you can get a massive advantage in the later half of the wing if you have low players. All right. That is exactly what you need if you want to win. If you don't have that, you're not going to win. We've now moved on to Sloth. They have managed to get past the Slublings using some, you know, some stealth. You don't, want to get, you don't even waste time doing that. You just want to get straight to the boss here. Straight onto the boss. And you know what? You know what's kind of interesting? We've seen a lot less wipes this time than we have last time. I mean, what, what do you guys think about that? Are the players better? Or is it just the, is it the power creep? Last time? Uh, quite a lot, okay. actually. Without digging a hole. What? And there's need to keep... Okay, we saw many wipes. <laughs> it was it was quite a lot of wipes. I mean, there were a few wipes on wing two as well, like wing two, and uh, there weren't many wipes on wing one though. Actually, even then, <coughs> yeah, there is. You know what is kind of interesting? There is camera shake for NXS. I'm not I'm not sure about that one, dude. I it's mean, more intense. It is. It does. It, yeah. Do you think they're really trying to get into it? They're really going to try and get into it. Looks it? horrible. But it's immersive. I think the the teams are pretty close right now. Up a little bit ahead, get into that break bar a bit quicker, although it could be animation chaining causing that break bar to be slightly desynchronized. I think it's very, very close right now. I think Sam has the wrong glyph. Wait, what glyph does he have? The Dace glyph, but he's using it like an empowerment glyph. Oh, wait, he's, mi he's misclicked the glyph. No, oh. it just uses it every time after the break bar. Hmm. Oh. And not to well, break. That is not ideal. Um, I think a little bit of a, of a, maybe his build template didn't work quite well. Oh, NXS though, in a little bit of they've lost a player. Oh no! NXS have, they, oh, they have a poison right in the middle though. They have a poison right in the middle, yeah, that's really, really bad. They can work around it. Yeah, they can, absolutely, but that is not what they want. They're going to be losing not only a lot of DPS, but that's going to cause them to have to take a quite... Uh, annoying path around the arena, okay, and obviously not moving the sloth um, as much as you can is, is very advantageous uh, for both of these guilds, and they might have to move them a little bit more now as a result of that. Up, oh, NXS, oh, NXS. really NXS. taking pressure from that shake, nope. taking a lot of pressure. Up, looking solid, looking strong on the second to last break bar, and we'll be quickly burning him down to the last 10%, they can just pretty much prepare themselves for Trio. Very nice clean run from up here. This boss will be dying momentarily. Just uh, one more bar to go. Uh, oh, it, oh, it's not the best CC. A little bit slow there. A little bit slow. And they do do it. Yep, that is the break bar. It is done. It is done. And there's going to be one more shape, but that's not going to matter. And up is going to finish the sloth in a handy time. But NXS did lose some time there. They still have another break bar to go. And I think they aren't going to make their own DPS check. This is going to be a wipe, I think. Yeah, it is. NXS is going to wipe here. That is not good. They are almost certainly not going to survive this. Maybe they can just manage it. If they dodge these shakes, they still have five players alive. But the Sloth is on about 10% HP. They GG'd. They GG'd. NXS. Wiping on sub 10% sloth. That is not what you want to see. That is really not what you want to see, unfortunately. Ooh. Wow. And that is a huge lead now for up. A huge lead, in fact. NXS are going to have to scrabble to try and get back into this. Well, never mind then. It was very, very close within about 10 seconds, but now that lead is stretched out to a few minutes, really, for up. And of course, the Bandit Trio is a time gate, so it will only be a matter of time before up manages to reach Matthias. Uh, but there is, of course, the potential for a wipe. 
There is that potential. They could die. It's not unfathomable that there could be a wipe. But I think it's probably pretty unlikely. I think it's probably pretty unlikely. I think that a Trio is an event that is pretty much under control these days. It's pretty much under control. Well, I hope it is anyway. Uh, it's going to be... Let's see. Uh, what kind of, let's see what kind of bands we're going to go for here. We have the... Um, the Necro, you have a Scourge, a Spellbreaker, and a Tempest. So that's probably what they're going to ban. They're probably going to ban, I guess I could ban Weaver, I guess. They probably don't want to run Weavers. There's probably a lot of directions they can go with in with regards to bans here. There's, you don't really want, you want to basically just, oh, with Matthias, you want to stack Mirages, really. Just stack as many Mirages as you can and just destroy them. Uh, but that's what's going to be happening there, I think. And they're just casually killing all the bandits, cleaning them all up. Uh, meanwhile, NXS, halfway through Sloth, but a Berg almost spawning here for up. US playing up again tomorrow. Oh, is that going to be a rematch? The rematch hype? That would be pretty exciting, guys. That would be pretty exciting. Yeah, it certainly does look that way. I mean, if, if up continues like this, with this clean, casual run, casual daily clear, then we will actually have a rematch uh, for US. Guys, can you please not use camera shake? My mom bought this new laptop, and it gets really hot when the camera is shaking. Now my leg is starting to hurt because it's getting so hot. Please, if you don't want me to get burned, then don't use camera shake. Well, it's a bit late for that. I think it is a little bit late for that. How do the bans work? I mean, but you ever, after every encounter, you ban three classes that you can't use for the rest of the run. That is how it works. It's two in them, the other ones, though. In, in, the, in the, the ones with four encounters, that's how it works. It's a, you know... For six in total. Six bands total. And classes you used in an encounter. Yes, you, yeah, you can't... Random yeah. trash specs. Yeah, you actually have to use it. You can't just, just randomly get rid of some stuff. You, you actually have to do it probably. NXS, uh, yeah, they didn't lose a player this time, and that's why they're going to be able to deal with the Sloth much better here. And he will be falling over right now. Oh, it, he moved out of the Meteor Shout, but it's not going to save him. And NXS are running towards the trio to try and get back in on this action. Just as Up is going to fight Zane. Zane is going to be spawning uh, momentarily. He's going to be back in just a minute. That is, of course, one of the more dangerous ones. I mean, Norella being the most dangerous. But Zane, he can screw you over. You can get screwed over. You know, there's still things that can go wrong on trigger. So you should. Ne these these teams are not going to get complacent. They never never relax, guys. You do not want to be relaxed during this run. There's so much that can go wrong, even on the bandit trio. Right? If you get a saboteur that gets through, or someone forgets about the saboteur, you miss mortars. Okay. If Zane here shoots the cage or he downs a bunch of your players and it, it starts to spiral out of control, or on Norella, if you get all get caught in the tornadoes at the start, all of these things can pretty much screw you over in an instant, guys. This is raids. This is raids. These raids are going to mess you up, okay? Do they, they ban ahead of these runs? Yeah, wait, so the other teams know what's going to be banned? Uh, well, they didn't until now, but, I mean, if the other teams are watching soon, they would now, but it was, you know, just between the teams, but... And only for the wings. Like, they, they don't... Not everyone knows all the bans. The only person who knows all the bans is uh, me and Nico. Okay, the, the other teams do not have access to that information, okay? Uh, but they can, of course, you know, see what happened, see what got banned, right? Um, but only on the... Um, only on the wings that they've seen at the team play. And Zane, it will be now defeated, will be slain uh, um, for... What's up? The Annex player died to falling damage. Wait, what? He just fell down the bridge and died. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> that that is uh wait, they reset it. They reset trio. Oof. That is not good. Okay, that is not what you want to see. I and mean, at this point, wait, what are they doing here? Wait, what the fuck are they doing? What they were like climbing up. Just, yeah. Were they trying to the map, no. Explode or something? Didn't have to do the bandit trio. Wait. So the tactic is to five man the entirety of the keep. Wait, they're gonna five man it? They there are five people in the keep and the cloner goes up where the bandit snipers are to my fires and then portals down whenever you can. So they can portal instantly up to my fires. Well it's ballsy. It's ballsy but they need balls. 
they they need that. They need that sort of thing if they want to come back. I mean, they are pretty far behind right now. And uh, Norella is going to be spawning uh, in a few seconds now, I think, in about five seconds, four up. They're going to be finishing off Bandit Trio. And that wipe, I mean, even with their really fast strategy, really, really, really risky strategy, it's just, I don't think it will be enough for, for NXS to come back in this. I, I really don't. Oh, feels bad, man. Norella has spawned. This is a pretty dangerous boss, but they even bait the flak. Very nice. Okay, we just have Sam staying in control, throwing the bees there. This is a, a strat that was actually... It took a surprisingly long amount of time for we actually figure out you could do that. Uh, to, to just kind of completely disable all the bandits by throwing bees all over them. Uh, what, what? Sam actually threw a bomb at the cage there. Uh, not maybe the, the best idea. Uh, but, I mean, Norella is going to surely be burned to death. It looks like everything is under control here. Four up by the looks of this, I think. Looking good, looking good. Norella moves around. Yeah. Out uh, of the oil. I think she's still dying, though. She'll still die. Dies. Yep, she's dead. She's dead. So, up. Still in control of the situation. And they are now going to be moving on to Matthias. Off they go. And let's have a look at what they banned. They banned uh, Weaver, Spellbreaker, and Scourge. Okay. Again, good choices. Not really the ideal classes for... Um, uh, for Matthias, you, for, for the warrior, you always want a warrior. You're going to want to have Berserker for this. A much better a much better choice. And Necro is can be used. I mean, obviously, can be used on, on Matthias, no problem. But it's not the best. You want to just stack as many Mirages as you can. And the Weaver, of course, really not a great choice for Matthias. It's a, a boss who has a tendency to move all over the place. And that's not what you want if you're a Weaver. You like things to be nice and big and fat and not move ever. Okay. Wow. NXS equals QT equals dig in a hole equals battle, right? What? What, <laughs> what? what does that even mean? I, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. Uh, but let's see. Up, clearing out the bandits. On the, uh, on the trail. On the trail, on the quest to defeat NXS. And they are doing well. They've made good progress in that quest. But sometimes, guys, if you do a heart in the open world, it can seem like... Takes ever, takes forever. You know, even if you have the most challenging, you do the the, the most the most time consuming sections of the heart, it can still take ages, and it gives you the same credit as doing absolutely nothing. So let's see, it can all be for nothing if they die on Matthias. Like a one wipe can separate uh, the the difference between a victory and defeat for these players. I can it can all start to go wrong. It can really all start to go wrong. Especially in that last 40%, which makes dying uh, to Matthias very, very punishing in this kind of format. Because you've done most of the boss, you've already invested all that time, and if you die, then it's just... It's not good. Up with a very significant lead, though. A very, very significant lead. NXS uh, just finishing off Berg, the uh, first champion in the bandit trio. Whereas Up are just cleaning up uh, a few of the, the remaining bandits. So, pretty good stuff there. Four up, and yeah, I think they have done it. They are actually moving on straight away uh, to Matthias right now, and that is a good, good healthy lead, a very, very healthy lead for up, and as long as they just play it cool, keep safe, and just kill that boss, they're going to be fine here. They have eight players, a good amount. Uh, one here, so I mean, yeah, I mean, they have one druid, which is obviously fine for that. Um, as long as they don't fail CC, and are careful with too many conditions on the, uh, on the sacrifice, they should be fine here. I think. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Plenty of healing going down. By Sam, that druid POV. Look at those green numbers. Instead of some damaging numbers, we see some green ones for once. You know, it makes a bit of a change here. Matthias getting destroyed. Those mirages doing some serious work here. Uh, and they have plenty. They they run two mesmers here. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's strictly necessary for only for only um only eight players. Maybe they could make some savings there. But I guess they want to have permanent alacrity on everyone as well. Those mesmers doing some. Oh, the, the double feedback there. Some backup feedbacks always a good idea to have backups. You know, one losing one reflect can really lose you a lot of time, right? It can really really screw you over. That's not what you want. But the damage looking pretty strong here. I mean, having only eight means it is taking a little while. Now on 75%, that could make the last 10 uh, last 40% very, very scary uh, for this team. The worst thing is it might take a little longer than they would like. Oh, one down though, four up. Can they get that res? I think they will. Yeah, they'll get that no problem. Yep, he's already up again. 
I'm going to keep the healing going. And they're going to be moving on to one of the most treacherous phases, the storm phase. Not soon, getting everyone topped off there is our druid. And Norella will be spawning shortly for NXS. They're just finishing off Zane. Of course, they only have, they have so few players. It's going to take, I feel like Norella is going to be so scary for them. I, I, I just, I'm not sure I like this, this, this strategy really too much. I, I'm not, a, not a huge fan of, of going so low man on the banner. Sure, I mean, it is of course a time gate, so having more players doesn't exactly help, but it, it, this seems so risky. It seems such a risky way to go about trio. Oh, it, it seems very scary to me. I'm scared. I live in fear. Uh, for for NXS, but they wouldn't be doing this if they weren't sure, certain they could do it. You know, they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't do it if they didn't think they could, and they uh, they think they can. So I believe them. I try, oh, mortars what? failed though Someone for NXS. The Ooh, I think they killed it though. Did they kill it? I'm not sure. Still out there, according to minimap. Oh boy. Oh dear. And I well maybe they think they can just get away with that, but their cage is dying. I mean, they have, they have a down. Can they, work out. They have only four it's people left. So scary. Yeah, th this is terrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. I mean, this is not going to work out. I I'm really, really scared for NXS right now. Like, a wipe here is not what they want. It's I mean, oh, in fairness, they seem to be handling it well. Maybe they do just skip those mortars. Oh, it shit, there was ooh, that is really close. Mortars landing on the cage doing a lot of damage, but Norella is oh, very, very shit, low as well. This is going to get very close. This is getting very, very dicey for NXS. Are they going to make it? I think Norella will die. I think NXS is going to be able to get away with this. But is this even worth? I, I mean, so long. It, yeah, Norella. exactly. Norella took so long to kill there. And, oof. I mean, no, it's not. It's just not what you want, really. And, and up is nearly finished. Oh, they have two down, though. They don't want wipes here. They really don't want wipes. But they can nine man, the, ten man the rest now, I think. Yeah, they, yeah, they have. They can do ten man. They can do whatever they want here, but. Is the, did they even are they even benefiting from the skip they did? I, I feel like they're not even getting value out of that. I don't think they made the skip. It was just weird jumping to throw me. Oh, is so it they just did weird jumping? Oh, a few. Yes. Uh, I think Up are gonna have a few deaths though. Up has one. Death. Yeah, one death, but they get the res. That's okay. That's okay though. That's fine. It doesn't matter if they have only one death. Can deal with that. So after seven man for the rest, and you know the boss is already low, so they can stabilize. They do stabilize pretty effectively there. A little bit scary. Oh, another one down. They're going to need to make sure they get that res. They are, they are going for it. Like Sam just throwing heals. He's just throwing those heals out to try and keep everyone up. And they are. They need to get a regroup. Yep, they are going to be able to successfully regroup. They're back on the boss. That's exactly where they want to be. I think there's a corruption standing inside the group, though. That's not exactly what you... Uh, that's not, listen, there's the ghost. They need to watch out for that. NXS would have to do a ridiculous world record if they wanted to... <laughs> if they wanted to win here. Uh, but... Slow and steady, up will be taking down Matthias here, I think. He's not long for this world, my friends. He is really not long for this world. Can you see a stone spirit of Matthias? I... Uh, I know, I don't the think they have one. Very, oh yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't have protection on I think they're maybe assuming that he's gonna, they're gonna get it from the Chrono, and the Chrono will be able to share enough of it, because they actually don't have, yeah, they do not have a stone spirit right now, actually. They have no protection up time, but... It turns out, it doesn't matter, I guess. They have some prot, though. They have a bit. Maybe there's some Herald runes or something. Like, kind of, some cool kind of memes there for, to get some prot. Uh, either way, I think Up is going to be able to take down Matthias before NXS even reaches uh, the boss. That really is something, and Up is going to keep their dream alive. Tournament, that's it. Up is the winner. 1830, a very respectable clear there. A very, very respectable clear there. Four up clean and crisp. They lost a little bit of time. Lost a bit of time by losing one of their DPS classes. But in the end, they kept it calm and they got it done and they got the kill. So congratulations to up. They are going to survive and, uh, and move on.